Okay, let me remove this and use content aware. You piece of... Hello, hey, welcome to Pixel Steppers. Have you ever seen what happened earlier with how we try to content wear something and fail horribly? Well, in today's video, we're going to talk about how to maximize content wear and tame Photoshop so that it will do your bidding. So without further ado, let's go. Okay, so we have this image here. Now, honestly, there's nothing really I need to remove, but just for example wise, uh, assume I want to remove the Chinese wording, right? So I'm going to choose my marquee tools and use my pen to select all the wording. You know, the better you kind of select all that and give it a more fine tuned selection the more easier for Photoshop to help you remove them. Now, I remember most of the time um, when you want to remove something, the content where field shortcut is Shift F5. You'll bring out fill, right? It's a fill tool. And to fill it with content aware. Okay, that's one way to do it. You click OK. And oh, uh, uh, it looks like that. Okay, that's. I mean, yeah, you could clean it up the with patch tool, you know, um, comb tool, all that. But hey, we have a content we're supposed to do a lot. What happened? What happened is that we let Photoshop run wild. That's what happened. We actually when when Photoshop try to do content where what it does is it study the whole pictures and see within the picture what pixel to replace in that area we selected. Now, Photoshop is no human. Uh, computer is computer. It only knows so much. It doesn't really want what it wants. Like, do you, they don't even know what's blue, red, whatever. You know, it just, we tell them. So we need to tell Photoshop what to replace in those pixels, right? Okay, so let me undo this. Here's a correct way to do it. Rather than using fill, we go into edit and actually use content aware fill. Click that. Now you will came up with this uh, manual here. Okay. Um, right here it says use the sample brush tool to add to the sampling area in order to fill selected regions. Okay. Let's try that. So if you look at this menu here, we have the color green. This is show selecting area. So if I paint on something, it will be green. Okay. So we don't want that yet. I'll show you later. I know that. <laughs> and here we're using custom. All right. We'll talk about all that later. Okay. But in this case, so one thing you need to remember is using this brush and brush green in the area you want Photoshop to use and study to replace all is in there. So in this case, there is nothing else we need except for the white pixels. So I only let choosing the white pixels for Photoshop to study so that you know how to replace. Let's see how that works. Look at that. So this is a preview screen, right? Look at that. Look at that. Let me open this a little bit bigger. There you go. Um, I like to click on scale because that thing will kind of make the whole thing looks more natural. In which is already very natural. Look at that. Look at that. I'm going to click OK and you should be able to see a whole new layer on top of this, which is a replacement pixel of what's covering the Chinese wordings here. Right there, just like that. Look at that. That's how you use content aware, not feel content aware feel okay this is exactly how you use it now it's so clean you don't have to do any more patches or comb afterward right okay here's another example this one may be a little bit more difficult but uh, let's give it a try anyway so um well let's put it with this one. duplicated one and uh, again we're going to choose a marquee tool and try to remove this walker 
next to the model, which is so happened to walk into my shot. So also, a lot of people don't remember when they move, we move the person. Also, we move the shadow. A lot of people don't do that. Right? Okay. Let's see. I think I did a little bit too much over here. So I'm going to push Alt, and it will become a minus marquee. And I'm going to take that card back a little bit. And let's just call it a good selection. And go to Edit. And go to Content Aware Fill. Click that. Yes, I know. So, which area should we determine to let Photoshop calculate? I'm going to pick some car. The blue row here, the overexposed path row. Uh, like right here. Also, those two car, a little bit of this building. I don't want a tree because I don't think the tree will land down there. So, like that. Let me put this. Oh wow, look at the preview. Look at that. Come on, come on, come on. Oh wait, I'll use my hand. Oh yeah, that's pretty good ish. Let's try cat scale. Supposedly it would do a better job once it loaded. Yeah, see, it blends in more now, right? So let's click OK. Come on, come on, come on. It's an old computer. Take some time to load. It's getting there. It's almost done. Almost there. Come on, man. You're making me look bad, computer. <laughs> Are you still loading? Please tell me you're loading. There you go. You see that? So it actually generated those cards in there. Now, if you don't... You can't even tell, but you can always clean it afterwards. So um, I'm going to do a shift control or E that will generate a layer with everything. And I'm going to go in here, just a couple fixy fixy, and this sh we should be good on the way. All right. Let's do another few and see how that looks. Okay, that's not too bad. Let's generate that line. I don't know if that's supposed to be there or not, but it looks more clean now. Okay. And then also, you probably want to be generate this pathway. Okay, good. And voila. The person never exists. He was or she was never there. Okay. So that's how you use Content Aware Field. You limit the information you allow Photoshop to calculate. That way, it would not generate those mumbo jumbo or fuzzy, uh, crazy pixel to replace what you want to replace, but just what should be supposed in there. Okay, so that will be your judgment rather than letting AI telling you what to do. That's content aware fill. Now, I know you probably see something when I click on edit and you see something called content aware scale. What is that? Well, uh, not all the time you need it, but in some cases you might. Uh, for example, for this image, oops, sorry, wrong one. All right, this is good. So let's say if I want to extend this image, it's pretty like a panoramic already, right? But I want more. Let's just say I want, let's have 3,000 on the canvas. Okay. And you know what? 3,000 would be a much. I want to reduce it to 2800. I think that's work. There, that works. Okay, I like that. Okay, now let's say if I want to fill this with the picture, there's a couple ways I can do this. One is, you know what, let's put duplicate this just in case I messed up. I can basically select this here and hit Control T transform tool and put shift so that it will go one direction only. and pool now if you never not been there and never seen a mountain that looks good right and the mountain glass stretch it, it looks good i mean it, it will stretch a mountain it looks good but imagine there is some kind of really um 
popular location and they know exactly how those scenery looks uh that's not gonna fly say hey you stretch a picture you know that right so there's a better way to do this okay first of all let's duplicate that again by hitting command j and i'm gonna duplicate layers now let's using a marquee tool okay let's show you one more thing first if i stretch the whole picture okay look I will able to stretch the ship, the bride, everything. We don't want to do that. So again, let's not trust AI. Let's tell Photoshop which part of the picture we don't want to get stretched. So in this case, not the bride, not this mountain. I tr well, let's see if they're able to hold the mountain in place. Not here, just to see and just a ship and a mountain, okay? So I have this selection. Now we're not done yet. So once you get a selection, we have to go to channel tab and hit this little thing. This is mask. But when you hit it, we generate something called an alpha channel. It's a selection in this picture, okay? So the white is where we selected. Black is nothing, okay? Now make sure you hit, don't select that, don't show that. Make sure you select RGB back again, layer. Okay, we got this. So now we go to edit, content over scale. Okay, okay, you ready for this? Go to protect. What are we protecting? We're protecting alpha one, which is the selection. Now let's pull this image by hitting shift. I said shift. Oh, you know what? Because I forgot to select. So let's do that first. Yeah, people make me stick. What are you gonna do? <laughs> Come on, with it. Okay, this is for real now. Push shift and pull. Look at that. Okay, I think I did a one wrong, but at least can you see the mountain and worm really boo? What did I do? Oh, you know what I did? I forgot to select my protection. So let's do that one more time. Mistake will make you learn something every time, doesn't it? Okay, so let's do alpha one. Now let's put it one more time. This one's for real, okay? Look at that! 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 Okay, mountain did not get stretched except for that one, but you kind of get the idea, right? So what's the best thing to do here? Um. It is a very stretch because we actually generate a lot of unknown pixels in this image. So, um, and there's not much resources for Photoshop to actually work with. So we have to do a little more work for Photoshop. For example, we have our alpha channel ready, right? So let's go to kind of scale and make sure the protection is on. Okay. Let's stretch it until we see something like this too off oh that's too much that's right there okay hit enter all right okay, go sorry and do a selection again with the shift and the mountain one more time okay and let's generate another alpha. It's gonna be alpha two. Okay. Deselect. Make sure it's out to be selected. Let's go back to that layer. Edit. And come down where to. Again, this time go protect alpha two. Because we stretch the image, the protection is different now. We have to create a new protection. So let's pull one more time. Okay, we can stop there. Now, because of this nature, if you, you have a really depth of field image, it will work perfectly, but you can see that we did quite a lot and not deform it. That's content aware scale. Um, I could do a lot of doctoring screws to make it sure that it will stretch all the way there, but then, you know, um, this is not a tool that people use all the time unless you want to extend images, but at least you know that you don't have to do comb, 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 comb all the time and let content aware do a lot of calculating for you but the only thing you have to do is doing the protection right now 
I don't know if you see it, but let me use another image as example. Uh, okay, this is good. This is good. Okay, um, this function supposed to be very powerful because there's one function they built in which is supposed to be really good. So let's just say if I go on to extend this to I don't know twenty five hundred like that when we extend it right. Okay, we have that. Let's go edit. Let's go to content aware scale again. Now you see that little person there. That little person mean that um, content aware realize who is the subject in there, who's the person in that picture, and not stretch it. Okay, this is on right now. Let's turn it on and see if it actually do a good job. So I push shift, control. Wait a minute, something's wrong, something's wrong. I'm going to stretch it more so you can see the images. Okay, check this out. Now the face and arm anywhere that has skins got protected. But look at the hair and the clothing and the body. Ew, right? So <laughs> what that little button do here, it actually protects skin tones. Photoshop need to work on that. They need to learn more like what's, what's the subject of clothing. They need more data to learn how to protect the hair and the clothing too, not just the skin tone. This is not going to work. This is not going to work. So we can't use this. So again, if you really want to protect the subject, then I guess the only thing for you to do is create alpha channel again. Okay, so do that. Right, channel. Alpha channel, we should select and deselect that. Go to edit, go to economy square, put a protection, alpha one, right? So we know the models mean protect the stretch, stretch no problem. There. Now nothing has been stretched, even though if I go further, look, nothing really affect except you know you don't want to stretch that much, right? So that is content aware scale. Uh, it's not a tool you use all, all the time, but when you really need it and you know how to run it and use it, it will save you a lot of time. So hopefully this will make you clear about content aware feel and also a little, learn a little bit about content aware scale. Okay. Thank you for watching and I hope that by this video you understand more about level and curve which will help you in your retouching and photo editing. Well, until next time. Thank you for watching Pixel Stepper. Again, I'm Jeremy. See you next time.